All right. Welcome back, Tug Addicts. Uh, a slow day today. Didn't uh, have a chance to go fishing. Only reason I went out in the boat was actually just a pitch of lure that I uh, did up last night. And I told you that I would talk about. And it's about a uh, rigging up Z-Man baits. And I've talked about these baits before, about the elasticity of these baits, how you can put them on. But the, the secret of this bait is to take it and glue it to the jig head. Now, on this particular one, what do I have? Well, it looks like two eyes, doesn't it? Well, that is not an extra eye. That is an extra noisemaker. Uh, fish feed on sight and scent and and when when they they and smell and when they one of those three factors come into it they horn into it they hungry they go attack i don't know if you can hear this on on the thing or not but there's a rattle in there well most people take baits and they take a uh, thing and they insert it down here in the bottom worm type rattle and as you jerk it forward then it's click, click, click. But if you're just reeling it slow, it doesn't have the opportunity to click because it's not going back and forth in the tube, so to speak. So I decided to put it, since this bait is going through the water and it's doing this, that means this bead that's in this head is clicking from side to side. And I can't hear high pitched sounds as well as I used to, and uh, but I can hear that thing ticking. And I used it the other day and caught four or five trout on it. And I, I said, boy, this is really nice. But the only problem I have with it now is if you notice that hook eye sitting up right here and then the hook back here, the head of that jig catches a lot of grass. Now, in Savannah, Georgia, where I'm fishing it now, there's not a whole lot of problem with that. But when I go down to the coast next week, uh, there'll be a lot of grass. And you're fishing that... Keaton Beach area, Steen Hatchie, anything in that Gulf area, you got grass, you're going to hang up a lot, and those fish are not going to hit it if there's a lace spill of grass hanging off the head of that bait. So what I've done is I took another one, Z-Man, and I rigged it like this. And this one I rigged with a keel weight, which, boy, really makes it wobble. And it wobbles like that, and that tail is giving you a good flutter. Plus... I don't know if you can hear it, but that bead is ticking back and forth in that set of eyeballs. And I think it even looks a little more realistic. The eye color, I don't think matters. This is a little plastic cylinder with just one bead in it. If any of y'all know where I can purchase these, I don't know where I got them, how I got them. I don't know if I got them from old buddy Bob or what, but I love to get some more of those plastic ones. The glass bead ones, I think are going to break up and, and be easily cracked more than these will. Also, with this Z-Man bait, I've told you all before, this material being so tough, this Elastec, it is just, it, it's just a booger to screw into. So what I've done, like on this one with the jig head, I told you all in the past, I have this little piece of stainless steel wire in, in a, just a, this is, you can use a dial rod. This is just a, uh, uh, pencil. I heat it up with a cigarette lighter and I'll stick it up into plastic. When I go up in there, it heats it enough to give me a little hole in there. And you can just buy a tube like this and just keep it in your tackle box of Loctite and put a drop or tube on it. Then you can easily press it, get it up on there, hold it for about 10 seconds and you're good to go. Now on this bait with the little screw in here, it, it's really difficult. I do the same thing. I push it up in there. I insert the little twist screw in, line it up the way I want it to be. And then I come back and before I put it in, I put a little drop of the Loctite, push it up in there. Then I put a little bit of Loctite around the outside edge of that pin. If you can, let me see if I can get this. So you can't pull that back. It's, it's stuck on there. And I use this stuff here. My buddy Chris Kosnack put me on this. It's called uh, InstiSet. This is in my Influencer page. Uh, down below, you can see the influencer of what we have to recommend. All you do is hit this. I think I may have told you all in the past, you can cure uh, super glue quickly where you can sand it. 
and put baking soda on it. But this is so much easier to work with. You don't have that white finish on the baking soda. Just missed it twice. It's just basically looks like water. And uh, you missed it twice. It's instantly hard. It's a great product. Uh, and I did it. I did it around the eyeballs right here as well. Put a little bead around there. And I'm curious to see how it's going to hold up and adhere to that elastic material over time, whether it'll break away from it or separate being it. It's a little different than most, but I've taken an electric chicken before. And I think I may have told y'all I put it on a, a jig head like this and with other Z-Man colors, not just the electric chicken color. And I fished it two days without having to change my bait, catching fish, two days catching fish. And it worked really well. Uh, that's my little tip on that. I, having to do these things from the office is kind of difficult, but this is the time of the year. It's dark outside. And I'm not on the dock where it's better lighting. I want to give you a fish fact tonight. Uh, this fish fact is on cold water fish have a special type of blood antifreeze that actually keeps them from dying in icy waters. And the other fish tag, I'm going to give you two tonight. This one's on uh, garfish have some of the toughest scales in the world. Native Americans use them as arrowheads. I never knew that. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Ben Barry for his uh, comment. He saw the video that we posted with Monica catching the red and our little trip to Delacroix, Louisiana, and says, uh, talking about fishermen's sportsman's paradise. And I believe, if I'm correct, Ben, they may have that on the license plate as well as sportsman's paradise. Uh, the nostalgia tip for the night is, uh, let's see what I have here for the nostalgia tip. Uh, basically, we were in fear of our lives, both, but it wasn't because of drive-by shootings, drugs, gangs, etc. Our parents and grandparents were a much bigger threat, but we survived because they loved their lo their love was greater than their threat. I tell you what, I sure miss my dad, and my grandparents. My little grandma was 98 pound went bear hunting with a switch. Don't forget guys to uh, give us a thumbs up, hit the bell, subscribe, uh, go to our website, look up our tools of the trade. Uh, finally got my knives in today after about a month from uh, my order. I was down to like three knives. We did so well over Christmas with our knives. I thought I was going to sell out, but we have them all back in stock now. I've got about 200 in stock. Uh, we uh, want you to check out the uh, influencer and these items that I mentioned tonight are down there. The Insti set is in there if you want to purchase that. And uh, please leave some comments and questions. And uh, remember, take a kid fishing and you can't catch them from the couch. Have a good evening. See you next time.